Turning to the weather now, let's check in with meteorologist Nicole Hartford in for Chris tonight. Nicole, it was kind of a nice day today. It was really nice. I mean, I gave it a 10 on our wisometer, but honestly, you could make the argument that it was a perfect 11. It was a beautiful day. We have a few clouds that have started to move in, but they're really not providing much shade or uh, still allowing us plenty of sunshine. Those clouds are ahead of our next incoming cold front. So although we haven't started to see much change yet, those changes will be quickly coming over the next 24 hours. This cold front is going to be swinging through into late Tuesday night. That does come with a risk for severe weather across portions of the southeast. Now, the more prominent threat for tomorrow is going to be out towards our west into portions of Alabama, Mississippi, even Tennessee. But in the Atlanta metro and for much of North Georgia, we are included in that low level one risk for severe weather. That means isolated storms could have the potential to turn strong or even severe. The main threats that we're going to be looking out for are heavy rainfall, the potential for some large hail, and then what I think is most likely some strong maybe even damaging winds. As far as the timeline for this, it'll be a while before that rain arrives. We've got at least 24 hours of what I would consider mostly dry and still pretty nice conditions. Our forecast track stays mostly clear to partly cloudy into Tuesday morning. Those clouds will be quick to move in by the afternoon, though, so a lot less sunshine for the second half of the day Tuesday. Ahead of the main line of rainfall, a few isolated showers, maybe even a stray storm will be possible by 3 or 4 o'clock, but I don't anticipate much in the Way of rainfall ahead of that main line. The line arrives into far northwest Georgia by about 8 o'clock tomorrow evening and then pushes into the Atlanta area by about 11 o'clock tomorrow evening. As this line of storms moves towards the southeast, it will start to fall apart pretty quickly. That's why south and east of the metro area, I don't really think we have as much of a threat for some of those stronger or even severe storms that will also really have an impact on your forecast rainfall totals. I think most of us will see less than a half inch. Some lucky spots into far northwest Georgia could pick up a full half inch, but much of us through the Atlanta area and certainly south and east of the city will see only hundreds of an inch of rainfall accumulation and the rain is out of there. By the time you're waking up and heading out the door on Wednesday morning, we're just left with a little bit of cloud cover to start off the day. Temperatures ahead of that cold front will still be pretty warm tomorrow. Highs will get up into the mid to upper 70s, even close to 80 in a couple spots right around 78 degrees in Atlanta. Behind the cold front, highs fall down into the low 70s by Wednesday. So a little drop in temperatures, but not a big difference and we'll stay in those low to mid 70s through the end of the week. By the weekend, we'll bring in another chance for some rainfall. We've got a couple really good days Thursday and Friday and then cloud cover and eventually scattered showers and storms will start to move back in by the end of this upcoming weekend.